Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. We're going to do a detailed review on this Mainstays 5 cup coffee maker. This is Walmart's $10 coffee maker. Okay, so we're going to do an unboxing real quick. It's got these two halves and you should be able to just pull those two halves out. Okay, so slide the two halves out, lay them on their side. And there you go. We're going to take the plastic off and take it all out. Okay, so out of the box you've got a nice uh, user manual. Um, it's all plasticky, but it does look really cute. It's kind of small. It's five cups. Um, coffee pot's kind of nice. Everything's just miniaturized. So you've got this big top you open. You're going to pour the water back here. It's got overflow. If you fill it up too high, it's going to come out the back. It does have a sight glass on this left side. We're nice and big to see. You've got this little filter basket. It's got pause brewing, so it's got that plunger when you take your coffee pot out. It'll stop the brew process. There's the brew head, uh, so you're going to want to make sure you've got the lid closed when you're brewing it. Um, it does have nice big cord storage, and the cord is kind of small. So you do have to be able to lift the lid up. You know, you only need uh, about 18 inches would be fine. That's about how tall it is with the lid open. And front to back, 8 inches will get you good. And then it's not very wide at all. Really small footprint, 5 inches. Okay, so this is the basic coffee maker. It has the on-off switch, and it's lit. So that's really nice. That's all you've got. It's one switch. There's no automatic feature with this. You're going to have to remember to turn it off. So there's the switch. Okay, so we're going to show you how to set this up for the first time. You've just got it. You've unboxed it. They want you to run uh, two pots of fresh water through. So I'm going to fill this up to here with water, put it in the back. We don't have to put a filter in, but we're just going to run uh, two of those pots through to kind of clean it out. So I always wondered why coffee pots had this hinged lid. I think it's to help fill it up easier. So you open it up when you want to fill it up with water. It's got a nice big opening to pour the water. This little coffee pot pours really well. Like I said, we're going to do two of these just to start. We're going to put the coffee pot in there. Close, make sure we close the lid. Now, one thing I am noticing, so this filter, you got to have it just right or the lid won't close. There, it clo make sure it snaps. Okay, and we're just going to come over here and turn it on. I like that that's lit because I never know which way the, the line and the zero are and the switch being front to back you don't know which way's on or off so I like that it's lit and it's only lit when it's on okay so we're running the water through it it doesn't take very long at all it's taken about a minute for every cup so this in five minutes this should be done okay so that took five minutes per pot I'm gonna throw this out and then we're gonna brew a pot of coffee okay so you're gonna have to get some coffee grounds and some filters this does not come with any filters so they sell these one to four cup coffee maker basket style filters is what you buy. So we're going to lift the lid. We're going to put our filter in. Just kind of make sure it's hugging the sides. So this coffee maker is like others. It says one tablespoon per cup. So I'm going to do five cups. Now you could brew one, two, three. So then you would just put accordingly so a two cup you'd put two tablespoons but i'm going to do five cups and that equates to just right at one third of a cup so i'm going to dump my coffee grounds in and then like i said the only problem i've been noticing is is when you close this well we don't want to close it yet so we want to pour our water in pours real nice Nice sight glass on the side, nice and big. Put your, uh... so when you put your coffee pot back in, it kind of pushes up the filter basket and sometimes this can get off centered a little bit. If this isn't right in that groove, the lid won't shut. So it's kind of like, oh, it won't shut. Make sure it shuts. So the only way to make sure it shuts is that has to be right there. And then when you close it, it's gonna snap. Then you gotta come over here and turn it on. We're going to time it and taste it and check some temperatures. 
Okay, so we're about at the three, almost four minute mark, and it's almost to the three cup mark. Um, I want to show you the pause brewing, so you could, right now, take this out and grab a, a cup. It's going to drip a few drips, but it's going to stop the process. You can pour a cup and then put it back in. It continues it. That plunger stops the coffee from coming out. So the coffee maker is not really loud. Um, I know towards the end of the brew process, it gets a little louder. This does get hot and it gets really hot towards the end. So be careful here. I do not recommend lifting this lid up. Um, I'm gonna lift it up just to kind of take a look. Okay, so it's, water's getting pretty high in that filter, but it's not overflowing it. That's good. Yeah, this coffee maker, it looks like a big coffee maker. It's just miniaturized. Yeah, so towards the end, you did get, you did get quite a bit of steam coming up around the lid. So at the six minute mark, um, it's about four and a half. It sounds like it's done. It's got a little bit to drain out of that filter basket yet. Okay, so at the seven minute mark, it's pretty well done. We're gonna check the temperature. So this coffee pot pour is really nice. About 165, that's pretty good, that's pretty standard. Let's see how it tastes. Uh, it tastes really good. I I'm not a coffee expert by no means, and I'm kind of a rookie at all this coffee maker stuff, but that tastes pretty good, like a pretty good cup of coffee. So now let's see, so their five cup is gonna be different than what we have, but now these are pretty, these are pretty big coffee cups. Um, but th I think that's kind of the standard now is coffee cups are just a little bigger. So I've poured this into here. Now let's see how much we've got left. Okay, so, you know, that's about what you get. Two big coffee cups full. So it's mainly a two cup coffee maker of these nowadays big coffee cups. So the main thing with this is you're going to have to make sure you turn it off after every use. Now, it'll keep the warming plate. This has a warming plate. It'll keep the coffee hot as long as you have it on. But as the coffee goes, you know, as you drink the coffee, uh, like now, I would want to make sure and turn this off. It does not have an automatic feature to turn it off. So now let's look at cleanup. Be careful. Sometimes even after you brew your pot of coffee, this can still be hot and there can still be some steam shooting out. So it might be best to wait till much later to clean it, but we're gonna look. Looks like it did a pretty good job on the coffee grounds. Uh, the water gets pretty high in the filter basket, but it didn't go over. It does have these little ears, there, which is nice, because you can take this filter basket over to your trash can and dump out that filter, because it's got that little plunger on the bottom. It's not gonna drip. Okay, so I brewed another pot. Let's do another pour test. Let's see if there's enough for a travel mug. So there is enough for a travel mug with some left over. So you have about 12 ounces left over. And we'll see how much is in the travel mug. It's about 14 ounces. So you can get 14 ounces and 12 ounces. So about 26 ounces total. Okay, so now let's talk cleanup. Um, I rinse these out and about every third time I'll throw them in the dishwasher. All three of these parts are dishwasher safe, top rack. Now this lid was a little tricky getting off. It, it doesn't pop off like others do and you kind of feel like you're gonna break it. But if you push it to one side really hard, then you can get that other ear to come in and out. But that's a little tricky to get on and off. Okay, so just to finish up, this is a very basic coffee maker. There's no automatic features. Um, it's just miniaturized. Um, it doesn't take up much space. Nice big opening for the water to go into. But you've got to remember to turn that switch off. But at least it's lit to let you know that it's on. And again, just this filter basket. Um, you know, they could design that a little better. So just make sure when you close your lid that it snaps. 
is if that filter basket is off just a little bit, you can't get it to snap. So don't force it. Just move that filter basket. It's got a kind of a notch that it has to line up with. So I really like this coffee maker. Um, I don't know how they can make a coffee maker for $10, but it works really well and it doesn't take up much space and it looks really nice. If you could, please like and subscribe and thank you for watching.